Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome. In today's video I'm going to show you how I prep my house for when people are coming over. Uh, our house is a bit of a disaster right now. I have about two and a half hours before people are coming over and so I need to clean my house and finish getting ready. So I'm gonna take you guys along and show you what I do and then I will do a voiceover later because I just don't have a lot of time right now to explain what I'm doing and you guys will be able to hear exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I hope this video helps you out if you are in a pinch and you have a little bit of time to get your entire house ready for guests. So without further ado, because I seriously do not have a lot of time, we are gonna go ahead and get right into the cleaning. All right, so the first thing that I like to do is basically declutter. So it's just all the obvious stuff in your house that is making everything look messy. So I like to just start in like a section of my living room and pick up the stuff that looks cluttered. If something needs to go in another room or go away somewhere else, I basically just make a pile of it somewhere and worry about it when I get to that section um, because otherwise I get too distracted going into another room and then realizing that other things are dirty. So that doesn't work well for me. So I will basically just make a pile of things that need to go away and then just keep working through. So now that I'm done with my desk, I'm just fixing everything up on the couch and then moving on to the rest of my living room. So again, just leaving a pile of stuff that goes in another room and cleaning as I go. I will come back to the living room and like deep clean once I'm done decluttering um, and it just works well that way for me so I don't get distracted. You're gonna see me finish up the living room here um, and then I will move on to the second part of my living room which is basically like the vacuuming and cleaning. So I start off by vacuuming the couches just to freshen them up a little bit and if there's any crumbs or anything, it, this gets rid of them. Obviously, I focus on the parts of the house where our guests are going to be spending the most time. So that's usually our living room, dining table, kitchen, and then um, I move on to our washrooms as well. So here I'm just wiping down the coffee table and underneath the coffee table um, just because we like to eat and snack there and I just wanted to make sure it was nice and clean. As you can see, I still have folded laundry in my living room so that obviously needs to go. So just sitting down and working my way through all of the clothes and then I will take them into the bedroom to deal with them when I get there. We had just come back from a little weekend trip so this is kind of laundry slash unpacking um, so there's a bit more than usual. So same idea, just decluttering this part of my living room, leaving a pile for things that need to go in the other room, and then moving on. I find this way just works really well because in the past I've tried to say like declutter my whole house and then clean my whole house with the vacuum and all-purpose spray and all that, but um, I, as soon as I walk into another room, I see so many other things that need to be done and this saves me so much time. I can't even explain to you how much time this method saves me um, because I'm just focused on one thing and once it gets done, that's just one thing ticked off your list and you can move on to the other stuff. So just giving my carpet a really good vacuum. Uh, we have a cordless Dyson and so I like to go back and plug it in on the dock when I'm done using it in that section of my house just to let it charge um, so that it doesn't die on me because in the past I've tried to just vacuum everything all at once and of course it dies halfway through and then I have no time because people are coming over and then part of my house is left unvacuumed, which is not fun. <laughs> so uh, lesson learned, I just go in and use my vacuum when I need to. And then if I think it's low on battery, I'll go plug it in and move on to another room and then come back to it. 
So I use kind of the same method in my kitchen. I just declutter everything that needs to be put away and then move on to actually deep cleaning afterwards. We had a lot of stuff in our sink that I needed to get rid of before people came over. So I'm just dealing with all of that. So after I'm done the countertops and the stoves, I just move on to the floors. Um, I vacuum first and then I go over our floors with a steam mop, which you'll see in a second. But this is just sort of a quick way to give everything a deep clean. And I feel like the steam mop just helps make everything smell fresh and freshen up our floors. Even though there's no scent in the steam mop and it is just water, I just feel like the power of the steam um, really cleans the floors and it just smells clean with no scent if that makes sense the steam mop that i'm using is the shark steam mop aqua and i will link it down below it's literally less than a hundred dollars on amazon this one part of my ikea baseboard always gets pushed out of place whether i'm vacuuming or mopping so if anyone has any suggestions for how to actually keep it in there without it popping out constantly please leave it in the comments down below because it drives me insane and i always forget about it when i start vacuuming or mopping so i hit it every single time <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna move on to the washroom. Um, I recently bought these wipes basically for your toilet, but they are flushable. Um, they were from a store that sells Japanese cleaning products. So I will link it down below, but it worked so well. It basically feels like a really thick Lysol wipe that has, um, I guess like grooves in it for cleaning um, and you basically can wipe down your entire toilet with it or wherever you want in your washroom really and then you just flush it and it's flushable it disintegrates um, it's amazing so i'll link those down in the description below but that was my first time using them and i was super impressed I'm just gonna wipe down the countertops and declutter my washroom a little bit just so our guests have a nice fresh place um, to use the washroom or wash their hands. So these are really like the three main areas in my house that I make sure are cleaned before we have guests. So it would be like our living room, dining room, kitchen area, and then uh, our washroom. The very last thing I like to do is spray down our couches and also our washroom with a downy bead liquid. So if you guys don't know what this liquid is, it's basically a mixture of hot water and downy beads that you keep in a spray bottle and you can spray it on any fabric in your home and it just makes the space smell amazing. I shared the faux flower hack on my TikTok where I tell you guys you can spray downy bead 
liquid on fake flowers in your home just to have like a nice air freshener in any room but that is basically my routine for cleaning before we have people over please give this video a thumbs up if you guys learned something from this video and if you want to see more videos like this you can go ahead and visit my channel or subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future with all of that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye